Tech companies have been building data centers around the country, closest to wherever they can find power. The data centers that power AI and that power regular computer systems use about the same amount of power. But that's about to change. The government estimates that because of the growth of AI, the amount of power data centers use in America could triple by 2028. Data centers are these huge warehouse-sized buildings, multiple football fields large. The foundation of a data center is what's called a GPU, a graphics processing unit. GPUs go into computers, which are then slid into racks stacked one on top of the other. And there's rows and rows of these packed into data centers. Because a GPU runs so many calculations at once, it uses a lot more power, about four times more power than a traditional chip. I visited a data center in Austin run by a company called Sarascale. Sarascale leased a data center that was operating like a normal traditional data center. And then they ripped out all of the computing that filled it before and put in new ones just for AI. And it was so striking how it was just empty almost entirely. That's because the same amount of power that fueled the normal data center was now running just a few rows of computers crammed in one corner. If they were to fill the data center with AI chips, that amount of power isn't even available. So what are these companies gonna do? The fear is that they're gonna have to depend on fossil fuels. Elon Musk is doing this with XAI, building gas turbines right at their data centers or pulling from big gas power plants already on the grid because it's the easiest thing to do. It's cheap and available right now. These companies have all made promises and say they really want to use clean energy, like nuclear energy. They like nuclear power because it works around the clock, unlike solar or wind power, but there's not enough available right now. So now we're seeing Microsoft, for example, trying to revive Three Mile Island, the nuclear facility in Pennsylvania that had shut down after a meltdown. The demands are so great that they're betting on all kinds of new technologies, smaller nuclear reactors that are easier to build, nuclear fusion plants, batteries to make it so that you can use solar and wind power around the clock. But the thing is, they need the power now. And so there's a big question of how we're going to get it. These AI companies, out of sheer necessity, are essentially transforming into energy companies.